This Centro team has been making the rounds for the last couple days, so of course I want to try it out. Um, I believe it got top 60 in the most recent ranked battle season, which is why uh, so many people have taken an interest in it. And I believe it was used originally by a Japanese player, but I've gotten the paste from James Beck's video because he's already used this team. Um, and he, he, I watched the video, he seems stressed in every game he played, so it's going to be interesting to see how I do with this. But it's a Trick Room team that uses Centret. Uh, the Centret has Knock Off, Endeavor, Endure, and Follow Me. So uh, with a Focus Sash, it can also... Um, well, first of all, it has Frisk to see the opponent's items in a closed team sheet situation. Uh, it can use Follow Me redirection support to help Calyrex get or um, or Indeedy get Trick Room up. And then, yeah, if it's a 1 HP, then it's a threat to the opponent with Endeavor. It can set up for uh, Calyrex KOs into Calyrex boosts. Covert Cloak on the Calyrex also helps it get Trick Room up, of course. Um, and then Calyrex hits things hard. Loaded Dice Torterra uh, hits things hard, especially with the optional uh, Stellar Terra. Um, yeah, it also is the Wide Guard user on this team, but it has pretty good uh, Ground Grass Rock coverage there. Then you have Assault Vest, Iron Hands with Fling, which I believe is to cover things like Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Choice Band, uh, Single Striker, Shifu, and interestingly, a male in DD geared more toward offense than you typically see from a female in as this one has Expanding Force and Shadow Ball, but then it also has Encore to disrupt the opponent further. So I don't necessarily know the right game plans with this team, but uh, in any case, we'll give it a go. And I, I've just put the paste here into Showdown. I don't know why the Centred is missing EVs, probably just isn't really able to do much with them, but I'm just not going to worry about that and use the paste exactly as is. And let's see... Best of one ladder, of course. Um, probably won't be accepting open team sheets. Maybe if my opponent does first, but this is a cartridge ladder team, so kind of want to uh, simulate the cartridge ladder game here. In any case, uh, let's get right into it. Our first opponent has Kyogre team with Incineroar, Rillaboom, Raging Bolt, Amogus, Tornadus. You know these guys. So double fake out seems like a problem, although I do have Psychic Surge and uh, Covert Cloak Calyrex, so maybe it's not that big a problem. Is it worthwhile to lead Centret in this game? I mean, I kind of want to just because it's the Centret team, but against all this possible priority that my opponent has, I feel like I might be better off leading either Calyrex and DD to stop priority, or... All right, they've accepted open team sheets. I'll do that too. I'll just make them do it first. Um, yeah, or uh, Calyrex Torterra for the wide guard coverage against Kyogre. So maybe the safest way to do this is to lead Calyrex Torterra in DD in the back. And unfortunately, I probably don't bring Centret to this game. I just noticed the Tornado says Taunt, but that's fine in Psychic Terrain. Um, maybe we save Centret for for uh, the next game and just bring like. Hmm. I'll bring Iron Hands. I feel like that rounds out my coverage here. All right, so it's Budget Pelipper and Restricted Bolt. So I feel like I can. Yeah, the Kyogre. Calm Mind Kyogre. With Origin Pulse and Ice Beam as its only attack, so I feel like I can. Let's check out. Let's check the Raging Bolt. I feel like I can pretty safely Trick Room and Wide Guard here. And if this works, then I get a lot of momentum. Hmm, okay. Well, I get the Trick Room up, so that's something. I get, I get Iron Hands in here, and what I can do is. Uh, the Dragon Pulsed into the Calyrex, maybe anticipating a Terra Dragon, so I probably don't want to use that here. Uh, so I'll just Glacial Lance, and... Hmm. I kind of want to Wild Charge into the Kyogre so that one of my Pokémon will take it out, but I don't know if I'm necessarily respecting the Raging Bolt enough if I do that. But I think it's okay. Or I think it's as okay as it's going to get against this team. Yeah, although... I've let the Calyrex get very low, and uh, I didn't even take up the Kyogre, so I lose Calyrex here. 
Um, okay. And only now do I get the Ndidi in to block Thunderclap. Uh, better late than never, actually. I should be able to claim at least one KO here. Uh, and I can Drain Punch into the uh, Restricted Bolt slot to try to get some recovery onto Iron Hands. It seems not impossible to win with these two Pokémon, but especially if they have Rillaboom in the back. Not the smoothest sailing. Um, okay. I meant to check my Pokémon's relative speeds before getting into the games, and I didn't do that. But we know that Iron Hands is slower than Indeedee, uh, by a good margin. I don't, I'm not really that familiar with Ndidi's base speed, to be honest. They swap out to Incineroar here. Which, uh, you know, the Intimidate is good for them. At least it nerfs my Drain Punch recovery. The good news is they didn't bring... What's it? They didn't bring, uh, Rillaboom. Okay, um, last turn of Trick Room. They can get a Spore into something, but I can get a Tear of Grass on something. Hmm. I feel like it's more important to keep Ndidi awake and try to get rid of the, the Amoongus. Ndidi also doesn't have an item because it already consumed its Psychic Seed, so Knock Off shouldn't do too much damage when I turn that weakness off. And I'll just go for a Drain Punch into Incineroar, though. Okay, they tried to put Ndidi to sleep, so Iron Hands stays awake this turn and actually does good damage into Incineroar there. Um, unfortunately, it has Will-O-Wisp. That was not something I checked. Not there's much I could do about it at this point. So we won't get a clean two-hit KO. Uh, here I'm just going to go for another Expanding Force into a... Mm, no, no, actually I should set Trick Room. I should set Trick Room. Um, hold on. Incineroar has only attack is knockoff. I should set Trick Room and take the chance to get another Drain Punch into the Incineroar. Just get what chip I can. The Mogus actually protects, so good thing I didn't attack it this turn. And they will let me get Trick Room back up. Last turn of Psychic Terrain didn't really take advantage of the spread damage, as again, I'm just going to expanding force into the Amoongus. Um, it's unfortunate that the Incineroar is immune, but what can you do? The good thing is, of course, they can't put my Iron Hands to sleep because it's already burned. They can heal their Kyogre thanks to the Trick Room. That's not great for me, especially as Psychic Terrain is about to end, which means they have Fake Out Pressure again. So, do I just lose to Fake Out Origin Pulse here? No, because the Ndidi resists. Well, I don't want to protect on either of these Pokemon, so I'll just, I'll just Expanding Force Kyogre and Wild Charge Kyogre. Um, Ndidi gets its attack off, only does 20%. Iron Hands survives. So that's nice. I'm going to go for Expanding Force into Kyogre here and Drain Punch into Incineroar. I think Kyogre probably protects. But... Incineroar doesn't have Protect. So I should get damage into something this turn, no matter what. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't quite KO the Incineroar, thanks to the burn. And they will get rid of Iron Hands here. But... Well... You know what? I can Encore the Kyogre. Hang on. Uh... It's the last turn of Trick Room. I can Expanding Force Kyogre, I'm not confident that it KOs, or I can Encore Kyogre and try to finish off Incineroar while it's locked into Protect. Let's try that play. Um, that is unfortunately giving Kyogre recovery, so... A decent chance I just threw the whole game. Hope the Shadow Ball KOs. It does, with a crit. Did that matter? Maybe. Uh, I'll go for an Expanding Force here. Uh, they get the double protect. That might have been the time to set Trick Room instead, as here I'm going to be slower than the Kyogre. And 
I'm going to set Trick Room, but I think I just need Origin Pulse to miss at this point. Alright, they go for Calm Mind. Maybe I can win with a crit? Maybe I can win with a bunch of misses? Actually, they'll just go for Ice Beam, what am I saying? I'm a Grass type? Alright. Well, tried to pull that one back. Didn't quite pull it off. My opponent was 1600s. Uh, which, to be honest, I mean, I'm not exactly a world championship contender here. 1600 is about as high as I've ever gotten on any VGC ladder. I feel like I gave them a decent fight there, at least. Um, okay. This is a pretty standard Miraidon team, but I don't know what kind of Urshifu that is on this team. I feel like it could be either one. My gut is saying that it could be either one. Um, okay, so how do I get Trick Room up into this? Hmm. I feel like I want to lead Calyrex and Sentret and Torterra all at once, which of course I can't do. I think Calyrex Sentret is a fine lead here. Take, pre take the Mirai on pressure off of Calyrex, get the Trick Room up. I definitely bring Torterra, and I think I'll bring Iron Hands. That can cover for the Ursaluna and for either kind of Urshifu, so that seems okay. Some help into the Mirai on as well, potentially. Uh, unfortunately, this is not clear amulet Calyrex, so they do get Intimidate there. It's AV Incineroar and Covert Cloak Whimsicott. There's a fake out coming out into something. Hmm. Protect Calyrex and. I'm going to use Endure on Sentret so that they can't KO it quickly if they try to. They do just go for a Moon Blast and knock it down to its Sash and a Flare Blitz. So Sentret survives the turn, and now... Well, now the problem is Sentret is going to be KO'd by the next Moon Blast, and then they just get a Flare Blitz into Calyrex. But I guess I can get around that by Terrastalizing Calyrex. And I will click the Follow Me. Actually, maybe I should have gone for Endeavor. Uh, but I don't want Calyrex taking a Moon Blast. So this is fine. They actually didn't get an attack off into Calyrex because they encored the Sentret, probably trying to encore Calyrex into Protect, but it was redirected by the Follow Me. And I can get Iron Hands in here. Glacial Lance, it's not Sash Whimsicott, of course, and uh, I'll just Drain Punch into the Incineroar slot. They can switch around this, but right now they're under a lot of pressure. Oh, they encore me into Trick Room. Okay, fair play. I missed that. That's that's pretty silly of me. Um, that's really bad. I think I have to swap Calyrex out to Torterra here. And... Hmm. I'll go for a Drain Punch into the Mirai Onslaught. I don't really have anything very good to hit the Whimsicott, as, okay, they just annihilate Torterra. Uh, so much for that coming in and doing damage. But, with the drop for their special attack, I mean, the obvious problem is Calyrex, now that it's terrestrialized, is weak to everything they have to attack with. But I'm just going to click Glacial Lance, because I don't want to get Encore again, into Trick Room. And... Calyrex is faster than Iron Hands. This time I'm going to go for a Drain Punch into the Whimsicott slot. Just... I don't know. I don't feel like it especially matters where I send that, but... Hopefully we KO the Whimsicott here, and then, yeah, and then we get the Drain Punch to KO the Incineroar. And now it's a 2v2, but it still doesn't feel very good. Um, but, Miraidon is actually pretty low. So, what I can do here, and the Encore pressure isn't there anymore, I can protect Calyrex, and... Hmm, hopefully KO the Miraidon with Drain Punch. That would be nice. They do go for Draco Meter into the Calyrex slot. Terra Blast does not do enough to assault Vest Iron Hands. And we do KO the Miraidon, and that I think was our out in this game. The Ferrigraph has turned into a ground type, so let's just try to hit it with a Glacial Lance and go for a Drain Punch as well. Foul Play doesn't do too much into the Dragon type Calyrex, and that, wow, it lives on one, but that Foul Play did 24%. Um, and also I just have two Pokemon left, so this one's over. Alright, Centric didn't 
Centred had a little bit of fun in that game, but I wouldn't say it put in a huge amount of work. But we can keep trying here. At least I brought it to a game. Hopefully we'll bring it to a few more. It's another Kyogre team. Um, this is an interesting kind of tail room team. A lot of, lot of hard trick room pieces, but then also they have the Torn Ogre. I mean, I see the vision, but it's tricky to play, but it's also tricky to play against. Yeah, I don't know how to deal with this. Last time I saw Kyogre, I led Calyrex Torterra. Clicked Wide Guard Trick Room. But I don't know that Trick Room is that good for me in this game. I almost feel like I don't want Trick Room up. So... What if I lead Torterra Iron Hands, fake something out, and try to get off damage? Bring Calyrex in the back, and Rishifu. This is not my uh, most thought through game plan, but that'd be interesting. It is, uh, I didn't even think about what kind of Rashifu they had, but Rapid Strike is, I'd say, expected on a team like this. Um, they, could, they could have Ice Spinner or even U-Turn and do big damage to Torterra, but most don't have Ice Spinner at least. Also, you wouldn't have that with your own terrain, so never mind, they don't have Ice Spinner. Uh, I'm just going to Bullet Seed into the Urshifu slot. They can redirect it if they want, and same goes for this Wild Charge. They're gonna claim a KO into something. Um, okay, they go for Surging Strikes into Torterra. Doesn't, well, it does about half. I shouldn't say that it doesn't do too much damage. It does less than that Bullet Seed. I didn't mention it, but the Torterra has Shell Armor, which means it can't be crit, which is why there's an extremely rare time that you saw Surging Strikes land some hits that were not critical. Uh, so Torterra tanked that pretty well. I've got rid of the Urshifu. Here's the Kyogre. Would have liked to have fake out pressure against that, but is what it is. I guess I'll just wide guard and wild charge. It's a pretty simple play, but okay. We do block the water spout. Indeed he redirects the Shikao, but I would have liked to have the damage on Kyogre. Uh, can't always get what you want, I guess. And now this is a problem. Actually, no, it's not. Well, it is, but I was going to say the Amogus can redirect an attack from Iron Hands, and although Torterra is immune to Rage Powder, I can't use Wide Guard and attack at the same time with Torterra. But I forgot I can turn Iron Hands into a Grass-type and Wild Charge the Kyogre, and I can't redirect it. Uh, they just take out the Torterra with Ice Beam, but that Kyogre is taking big damage now. In fact, it's gone. In fact, it just got one shot. And Amoog I mean, it's going to bring Calyrex in to clean up the Amoongus, but no need. They forfeited. Um, I brought Sentret to, what, one out of three games so far? Not really ideal, but hey, the team's working pretty well. This person also has Ice Rider Calyrex. They have Raichu. Two Electric types, one of them Raichu. They have Breloom. Annihilate. Regigigas. This is, I hope they don't accept open team sheets because this is best of one right here. I do not know what this person is cooking. Uh, my bad if this team is known, I've never seen it before. Uh, I feel like I probably want Trick Room. Their Ice Rider makes me hesitate a little bit, but I mean Raichu is fast. Annihilate is at least not slow. Regigigas, once it gets it going, is fast, although I feel like if you're using Regigigas in this format, it's probably more of a support Pokemon, but yeah, I think I want to get Trick Room up. I think I'm just going to Calyrex, Sentret. I kind of want to bring in DD to block Fake Out Pressure from the Raichu. Maybe. Maybe. Don't hate Torterra here, but no, I'm going to bring Iron Hands and Rashifu. Just bring all that offensive pressure. And hope that we don't eat a Raichu fake out turn one, which we don't. Um, I can set Trick Room here. Scarf Annihilate, Clear Amulet Calyrex, nothing too out of the ordinary. I can set Trick Room here. The problem is, again, I don't know whether my opponent wants that or not. I feel like Trick Room, though, is more beneficial to my team than it is to theirs. I think I can at least say that much. So I will set Trick Room and hope for the best. And uh, she's following me. They protect the Calyrex, so they go for a final Gambit with the Annihilate. 
Yeah, so that knocks Hentrip down to its sash. I get the Trick Room up. That's a good turn one for me. Uh, might regret not having a DD if they bring the Raichu in here, because the Fake Out Pressure is an issue. But they they bring in Breloom. Um, that could mock Punch. I'm going to try to get an Endeavor off. I'm going to click Glacial Lance, and I'm going to try to get an Endeavor off into the, their Calyrex, so I can just get rid of it. Uh, if the Breloom has mock Punch and picks Centred off, then that doesn't work, but... Here, you know, fingers crossed, here's hoping for the best. It is the mock Punch. So I don't get the Endeavor off, but... I do get rid of the Breloom and get a boost on my Calyrex, while well, there's still has no boost. Um, mine, unfortunately, has to take a single target Glacial Lance there, but still doesn't do too much damage. And they could have... Uh, I mean, anything they have in the back has trouble with Iron Hands, so we'll bring that in. It's Regigigas. Um, and I think I'm down to just Glacial Lance and... Oh, wait, no. They could have Wide Guard. But if I fake out the Regigigas, that'll go before Wide Guard, right? So I can Glacial Lance and fake out the Regigigas. I think that's right. Well, I don't know if they went for Wide Guard or not. Oh, well, no, they went for Knock Off. Okay, it's co and it's Covert Cloak Regigigas. Um, but here, I can just High Horsepower their Calyrex and Drain Punch Regigigas. They go for the Wide Guard here, but too late. The Covert Cloak actually could have, uh, they could have made a good play with that Covert Cloak on the previous turn, but they let me get that damage, and I'm actually going to fling into the Calyrex here as they protect, so, okay, never mind, I wasted my fling. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Um, okay, how much is their Glacial Lance doing to my Calyrex? Not very much, so I think I'm fine to high... Yeah, I think I'm fine to high horsepower and wild charge here. Unfortunate that I wasted my fling like that, but actually their Glacial Lance KOs nothing, and the high horsepower finishes them off. Didn't even need the Urshifu in the back. Cross 1500 with Centret. Let's go. This person has... Rejected open team sheets, and they have Koridon, Therian, uh... There we go. Spreading the word about the Centret. Um, okay. Coridon, Therian Thunderous, Armourouge, Whimsicott, um, Female and Deedee and King Gambit. So this is a lot of Trick Room stuff and a lot of Sun stuff and possible likely Tailwind. So they have a lot going on that is hard to deal with for sure. Um... I guess I'll just try to get my Trick Room up. I, mean, I don't know what else I'm doing here. So I'll lead Calyrex, Centret, and... Hmm. I think I want to bring... Uh, the Iron Hands is kind of interesting, but Armourouge kind of counters it, unfortunately. But... Do I bring it anyway? I'm just going to bring Torterra and Urshifu for reasons I can't fully articulate. Uh, before my time expires, <laughs> and we'll see how it goes. Um, but here, I mean, I can go for Trick Room. Safety Goggles, Eject Button. I can go for Trick Room. I'm also kind of tempted to just throw off a Glacial Lance, but... I mean, the Coridon probably goes Terra Fire here, right? So, let's just Trick Room and follow me. It's actually the Coride on you turns out. Okay. That didn't even knock Centret down to a sash. Good job, Centret. Tanked that like a champ. Prison, so I don't get the trick room up. That's a kind of a waste of a turn there. Um I'm just gonna I think I'm mm, I think I'm gonna tear a dragon here to turn off Dark Weakness. I'm just going to throw off a Glacial Lance, because they can follow me around a high horsepower. That said, I'm also going to try to endeavor into the King Gambit and hope they let me. Uh, they don't let me. Also, Calyrex is slower. 
Oh, no, I didn't get the trick room off. Calyrex is faster than Sentret. My bad. Uh, I'll go to Shifu here. That way I can threaten the Armor Rouge. Go for high horsepower into King Gambit. And just throw a wicked blow at Armor Rouge. Maybe they have some smart way around this, like being faster. But actually, that didn't do very much for them. Got rid of the Armor Rouge. The King Gambit's pretty low. Brick Break does a lot to my Urshifu, but... Doesn't KO it. Coridon is a giant problem now. So, well, hmm. and I'm locked into Wicked Blow, of course, on the Urshifu, which isn't great into either of these. I think my play here is, hmm. I think my play here is to try to set Trick Room, and I'll just throw off a Wicked Blow into the Coridon if they let me. Okay, we take the collision course. And they don't double target Calyrex, so I get the Trick Room up. I get Torterra in. Their Pokemon are chipped. I'll throw off a Glacial Lance. Ah, they probably Sucker Punch with the King Gambit, don't they? Okay, I'll protect Calyrex and... Don't like the defense drops, but I guess I'll headlong rush into the King Gambit slot. Iron Head. Well, I was right at least that they were going to threaten my guy. Yeah, Torterra takes so much damage after that drop. But they haven't Terra'd yet, have they? So they can Terra Fire Coridon here. But I'll Glacial Lance anyway. And I'll headlong rush into Coridon. And they actually let me do that. They don't redirect it, so we win. Yeah. That's a dub. Ooh. That one felt dicey, but actually turned out pretty well in the end. <laughs> I think I'm starting to see how James Beck felt using this team. It seemed like he was stressing like that every game in his video. How long has it been? Almost half an hour, wow. I, I haven't counted how many games I've won, but props to the creator of this team. The Centret, you know, is not putting in a massive amount of work, but it it has a real role here. It feels worthy of being here, and the team is holding up pretty well. This looks like a tough matchup, though. I can see why there's so much Terra Grass on this team now. Centret, Iron Hands, and Didi, because you want to get Trick Room up in most of your matchups, but then obviously Amoongus is a problem. Uh, so spamming Spore Immunities makes a lot of sense, and of course Torterra is always immune. Um, I think I want Trick Room up in this matchup. What did I do last time I faced Double Fake Out? I think I did Calyrex Torterra lead because the opponent had Kyogre, but here I'm not worried about an Origin Pulse, so I'll lead Calyrex Centret, bring Ndidi in the back. And... There's a case for Iron Hands, there's a case for Shifu. There honestly might even be a case for Torterra, but I think I'll bring Iron Hands. Um, just try to take advantage of its bulk if I get into a late game situation where that feels important. Um, okay, so here, my play into this fake out stuff, so first of all, clear amulet safety goggles. My play into this fake out stuff is a trick room and I just swap Centred out to a DD. Then they can't fake out my Calyrex. Their Calyrex can't threaten a one hit KO. Pretty sure, right? Should I have led... So I have Intimidated by Calyrex. Should I have led Indeedy Centret here? But I don't know what the Centret does then. Well, okay, it protects Indeedy to get Trick Room up. I don't know, that feels like a weird passive lead. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is I have a chance now to get off some damage. I think... Ah, uh, it's tricky. I don't want to tear a dragon in front of their Calyrex, obviously. What if I swap my Calyrex out for Iron Hands and just Shadow Ball their Calyrex to try to get some chip on it? Ah, well that happens. No chip. And I get my Iron Hands burned. Yeah, I don't think this matchup is going to work out. At least this game. 
Um, it's not looking good. Uh, I guess I'll fling into their Calyrex, but with the burn, that's not going to do too much. But also, I horsepower it. Just going to let my Calyrex get burned, I guess, because... I mean, what can I do here? Yeah, that didn't do very much, but it would have without the burn. Please wi please uh, miss Will-O-Wisp like your Aaron thing. I just parting shot. Alright. Well, I have a Centret and a Dream. Look at that Scarf or Shifu. That's not going first in, uh, in Trick Room. Honestly, I think I'm just going to knock off the Calyrex and high horsepower it again. Just focus my efforts on this Calyrex. Maybe I'll even knock it out before I lose the game. I get an Intimidate, so Centret minus... No, oh, Centret minus one knockoff actually still does some damage. That did 16%. Let's go Centret. Let's knock it off again. Hey, they fake out in Psychic Terrain. But, I mean, that's fine for them. Hey, we get we get back to only minus one attack on the Calyrex here. <laughs> I can follow me and set Trick Room. I do have that option. Alright. I mean, I'm, de I'm definitely losing this. Don't get me wrong, but... Hey, let's make the plays I have. Fortunately, there goes Centret, and they'll finish Calyrex off here. Oh, they don't. Do they not have an attack on Incineroar? And I don't care about the wide guard. I'm clicking Glacial Lance and hoping for a secret critical hit mechanic that sets the damage to 100%. But we don't get that. So that is loss number two of the video. Keep playing until another one. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that matchup, but this team sure is something. Uh, okay, we've got a Tyranitar, an Annihilate, more double fake out with Ice Rider Calyrex stuff. Uh, I'm just going to throw offense at this, I think. I'm just going to lead... Well, mm, no, I should still try to do my Trick Room stuff, but what I'm... But I'm... Not going to bring in DD this time. I'm going to do some Calyrex, Centret. Iron Hands or Shifu. So I have more offense to fall back on if things are going badly early game. Uh, the same lead again. Nightmare lead. Don't know how to deal with it with this team. Maybe some kind of a Shifu lead is the answer. Um, I mean, I feel pretty safe to just follow me, Trick Room. And as they fake out the Centret, that's okay. They knock out the Centret, that's not as good. I don't like that so much, but it is what it is. Hmm. I can get Iron Hands in here. Fake out and high horsepower the Incineroar. Will they let me? I feel like I'm not entirely sold on the male and DD on this team. I guess... Like, the team needs some kind of special offense. It's actually the only special attacker it has. Maybe special offense isn't strictly necessary on a team, but... It definitely feels bad to be pigeonholed into one side of the spectrum. You can see how Incineroar are kind of bullying me in some of these matchups. So I guess the extra offense over female and deity is what justifies having it here, but... What? High horsepower can miss. Oh no! I forgot, I didn't even remember that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but there haven't been very many games where um, uh, 
indeed he has felt all that worthwhile. I'm actually, actually I'm gonna uh, glacial lance and drain punch the Calyrex slot. Uh, okay, I thought they might fake out Iron Hands or even Grassy Glide Iron Hands to get rid of it. I forgot I have Covert Cloak Calyrex. I forgot this whole time that I have Covert Cloak Calyrex. I've been playing around fake out and I don't need to. No. <laughs> I didn't need to play around fake out its covert cloak. I've been playing like my Calyrex doesn't have an item <laughs> because I remembered that it's not clear amulet, but I forgot what it is. Uh, what do I lock myself into here? I feel like it almost has to be close combat. Right? Mmm, unless I see the Annihilate. Then I don't like being locked into close combat. Okay, I'm gonna lock into Wicked Blow. It'll do some damage to the Incineroar. Oh, I forgot about the Covert Cloak. Here I am talking up this team, and I don't even remember how to use it. Uh, those KOs are nice, though. What do they have in the back? Incineroar? Raging Bolt. Okay. That's a problem, actually. I'm just gonna Glacial Lance. Um, not mess around with Thunderclap. Uh, well, I kind of mess around, with, end up messing around with Thunderclap anyway, as they get me with it. All right, no reason not to terastalize. Actually, I should have terastalized Calyrex last turn. <laughs> Maybe I got tilted a little bit when I got that reminder of the Covert Cloak, as that's two losses in a row. But I guess, in fairness to me, Incineroar is still kind of a problem for this team, even with the, even when you remember that your Calyrex is immune to fake out, flinching. Um, yeah, it's a very physically offensive team, and it's a little bit bullied by the Intimidate pivoting stuff from Incineroar. I wonder whether a clear meal would be better, but I don't know. There are cases for both items. And then the Indeedee, I talk about the Indeedee as the one special attacker, it really doesn't do anything at all to patch up the Incineroar weakness. So overall, it's a really fun team. Uh, I'm I'm still not entirely sold on the mail and DD, but I, I kind of see the vision. The psychic terrain is good, trick room is good. Got to get special offense from somewhere. In any case, every team has its weaknesses, and this one did a lot better on the cartridge ladder than I ever have. So, what can I say? Uh, like I said, Centra was a fun Pokemon to use. I didn't get to show everything that it can do here. I don't think I ever got an Endeavor off into anything, but you can imagine the combos you can set up with Calyrex. Uh, if you manage to do that, you get it some pretty easy attack boosts there off of Glacial Lance. Um, what is the accuracy on high horsepower? Uh, or a high horsepower if you land that 95% chance to hit. Um, yeah, Centra felt like a cool Pokemon to use here. Glad I tried this team. Maybe I'll be back soon with some other weird team. I don't know. Nothing in the pipeline right now. But in any case, smell you later.